Okay, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about sections. Um, we're really just going to discuss the full section and I'll walk through here ghosting in and kind of going through the steps of building your drawing for your own section to understand how to see through or cut uh, an object with drawing. Um, so the first thing you really want to do when beginning a section is to try to get a feel for the three dimensionality of the object, right? What does it look in 3D so that you get a feel for what's going to show and maybe what might not show. Because um, just looking at a flat view may not always give you uh, the information you need. Um, so in this case, we have uh, this kind of bushing or this cylindrical object, right, with a, a few raised areas. And I'm just going to darken in uh, the areas to help pop out the 3D quality of the object. But the critical thing when working with these sections is to just try and visualize what's there, what's being cut away, and then you'll work from some of your side views, right, or some of your uh, other views to pull all the information you need. Um, and as you see, we'll go through here to try and darken key thing is the inside of this object has a small raised lip as well. So these are the little features that you would never see in some of the views without really referencing elsewhere. And if I wanted to shade this in to kind of give it that look of a more cylinder right, to create depth, you can add those kind of shading on the edges. wherever the, the beginning and end of the curves start, you add a little shading on it. Okay, so let's say we're looking at this object here. We need to visualize what it's like to cut it in half. And since it's hollow in between, when we cut through this object, there's not going to be any material in between. So we pretty much have to imagine this invisible plane, right? There's this kind of invisible bandsaw or cutting plane and this is the most important part to make sure you understand where the cutting plane is and what it's cutting or else you'll provide misinformation. So this cutting plane is cutting through half of the object right it's kind of slicing through here so I'm just going to kind of shade it in give a sense of what we're looking at. And you start to see we're going to be cutting this whole thing in half. Uh, and, and in order to visualize that even more, I'm going to show what a kind of basic 3D view might look of that. Uh, and the key here is whatever this plane, right, the cutting plane whatever material it touches right whatever it hits along this intersection becomes bold lines right so in other words this area right here where we're cutting the inside of the object those are going to be the most bold lines you have in your uh, pencil kit right so I might even go to a what we would say is a 2B, a 4B, and I'm really going to bold this up so it pops out and shows what's being cut. Right? The other key is whatever is being cut needs to show thickness and some kind of hatching, right? And hatching is anything referred to that kind of has that pattern. Um, that you would use to draw diagonal lines. Now these diagonal lines should be evenly spaced. And consistent line weight. Cool. 
So in this case, you would be drawing diagonal lines as such. Right now I'm going to freehand these, but if I start drafting, I'm going to be using my 45-45 triangle or my 30-60. Um, and that is dependent, right? You choose which angle is best as long as it stays the same and it doesn't conflict with other lines, right? I don't want more diagonals in the geometry. Um, so let's go ahead and darken the rest of this pushing. All right, and that's kind of what we end up with as a leftover piece to the component. And again, you can come back and shade if you want to show the depth. Now, something to consider is once you've done that, you've eliminated all of that leftover stuff, right? All of this rest of the part, right? All of the leftover bushing that we've looked at. And there's all of those extra lines that are now removed. So if we were to look at this from what you're going to be seeing in some of your exercises, right? Let's say we have our front view. And we also have what would be a side view. And then I'll show you, we'll project a um, section over to the side here. So when creating the front view, you're clearly going to have all those kind of circles, right? All of these circles. And they're all, of course, offset from one to another, all concentric, sharing the same center. This is just a quick freehand sketch to help communicate the idea. When you have all of your drafting tools, you'll actually lay these out with some stiff projection lines, and we'll look at those shortly. Now, we have our center lines to show the diameter, and the first thing we want to do is follow according to our uh, section up here. So if you're looking, we're going vertically on our cutting plane. So this right here is going to go vertically, and we're going to show this cutting plane line, right, this line here, plane line, as a heavy bold line using our 2B. So this will be a large, and then we need some arrows. We need arrows on our cutting plane line because if you look at here, Whenever we cut something in half, there's two directions that we can look. We can look at this direction, or we can look at this direction. So this tells us that we're looking that way. Once you have your cutting plane line, you have your uh, view, right, which way you're looking, you need to start projecting lines over from one view to the other. So in this case, I'm going to take my pin here and project over, just like you'd create a side view, right? Our projection lines that are projecting the edge of the object. All of these are the different ridges on the form. Now, one key here that I just noticed is there's actually a hole all the way through the middle, right? So, in the center of this object, you may want to give yourself some clue or you may want to shade in a little bit so that you know when your section plane, right, your cutting plane line is here, there's no material being cut, right? This is a complete hole all the way through the object. So we'll project our lines over and then we start creating the areas that are being cut, right? This area of the bushing, right, or this cylinder is being cut. So we're going to take our bold lines and we're going to follow that profile. And all these measurements come from your other views, right? If I have a thickness here, I'll have a depth that may come from your top view, right? Remember how we take these up and we would take these dimensions over to figure out your thicknesses. Darken in our boundary. 
right? We cannot forget to show everything that we're looking at in this direction. So when the plane, the cutting plane, is looking that direction, we need to show all these lines in the back of the object. Those lines are thinner, right? They're object lines that show up in the back. Finally, we'll carry our center line over and our hatching. Now that becomes, from a side view, right, a side view would have no section cutting here, it'd just be showing the side of this bushing, right, like there's nothing here, to a section view. And these would illustrate a full section diagram.